Our high school opened up its season this evening after a few of the school's games have been canceled because of COVID-19 concerns and Empire would duke it out against Savino. No fans allowed in the stands to prevent COVID-19 means supporters are outside of the fence. Take it in the action and they will see AJ Skaggs about to hit Derek Sanchez. Just like that, Sabino leads 6-0 after the mixed extra point. Sabino will get the ball right back, and this time Skaggs will hand it off to Kenneth Blackman. And Blackman is making cuts and making it happen, Captain. That would be a 40-yard touchdown to put the Sabercats up 13-0. And Sabino's not done. Skaggs will find Cade Swanson. Cade is spinning and grinning. And Cade is simply made for the end zone. Sabino now leads 20-zip, but the Empire strikes back, or does it? Empire's pass will be intercepted by Derek Sanchez, now playing defense, and he is gone with the win. He's going to drag in a few players into the end zone. Sabino leads 27-0 and cruises to the 61-7 victory. Hey, and the postseason comes sooner than expected for some of the private schools and other teams that were able to start the season earlier than others. That list includes Push Ridge High School. The Lions are gunning for their seventh win in eight games. New our uh, News 4 Tucson's very own David Kelly. He joins us live from Morro Valley with the scoop. Hey, thanks, Paul. It really feels like Push Ridge Christian Academy is the only school here in Pima County that has actually had a true season. They've been able to insulate themselves from COVID-19 to this point. Let me show you what happened tonight when the lights went on for this play-in game. Bruce Ridge Christian Academy played all seven of their games this season as scheduled, bringing the defense early. Christian Cromwell knifing through for the TFL, and he wasn't finished, combining with Cannon Jewel to sack the quarterback. Kent Middleton loving that, and then loving this. Evan Lovett on the sweep, gaining steam, delivering pain. Oh. That's what it sounds like when you get hit by a 215-pound truck. 30 yards on that touchdown, and Lovett was just getting started. 65 on this scoring gallop. All he did tonight was eclipse 100 yards rushing in the first half, which gave him now 1,000-plus yards on the season. Push Ridge Christian Academy opens the Conference 3A playoffs with a blowout victory over Gilbert Christian. 49 to 7, your final here tonight. So Push Ridge will host a quarterfinal game next Friday night. We don't know yet who the opponent is, and we believe they're actually reseeding the tournament as a result of the games that happened tonight. So they may be the third seed. They could be even higher come next week. We've got you covered out here at Push Ridge Christian Academy. Paul, I'm going to send it back to you in the studio. Hey, thanks a lot, David. We'll check in with you a bit later with coverage of the other games that are going on as well. All right. Well, meanwhile, the Caballeros of Flowing Wells hosted Palo Verde High School. It was senior night at Flowing Wells as cheerleaders and football players got escorted onto the field by family members. And got to love, senior Michael Ortega's family has a face mask with his picture on it. Caballeros represented strong. And early on, how about... Giovanni Walls about to dart up the middle for a Flowing Wells first down. He's quick. And after that, Eric Pace is about to hit Tyler Evans. And Evans will push his way forward for a first down. And that will help set up this for the Caballeros. Giovanni Walls will smash through a pal of Ernie Walls. After that, it's a touchdown. And then the long drive, guess what? That long drive gate up, ate up about eight minutes on the clock. Flowing Wells leads seven zip. Palo Verde gets the ball back. And on the Titans' first offensive play, the pass will be intercepted by Jonathan Odell. Nice little return as well. The Caballeros are in business, and Flowing Wells runs away with it. Final score 36 to 6. Caballeros win. Hey, Palo Verde gets his first loss of the season while the Caballeros take home their first win in three games. Hey, we're far from over with after the break. We will have the play of the week, plus Rincon and Amphi duke it out, and Saguaro takes on Mountain View in an East versus West matchup. We'll be right back.